Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the Prophetic Breakthrough. And today I have a word from God for you. Now I would like you to call your friends and your family to tune in and listen to this on time word that I believe will bless you. Please uh, join me in the service in progress and I'll come back and pray with you. Be blessed as you watch. You know, it just occurred to me this morning when I woke up, the Lord began to speak to my heart and led me to understand some things that though this year is our year, if we don't pray, we will not see that promises are not delivered on silver platter, but they are taken in battle. And I'm going to show you very soon. Amen? Now, if you, if you mean business and you want to fight, you can't fight with your tie and suit on. They will beat you. You understand what I'm saying? And so, those days, when you are going to fight, you say, okay, a man, you stand there. You stand, I'm coming. And then you take your stuff off. And then you, you, you will take your tie. And then you take your shirt. And then you begin to fold it. And, and then you are trying to tell your opponent, I mean business. This is no joke. That's all, this is no joke. Yeah, so I'm telling the devil tonight, this is no joke. I mean business. And so you roll your shirt. And you tell that enemy. I'm ready for battle. Amen. Because whatever you and I need for 2016 is already provided, is already delivered. But what are we going to do with tonight is what I call family strongholds. Amen. What is it? Family because what you need to understand here is, is that every family has a stronghold. If you don't know it, you must know it tonight. Every city has a stronghold. Every nation has a stronghold. Amen? Amen. America has a stronghold of rebellion yeah. and witchcraft. Yeah. Strong spirit of rebellion and witchcraft operates in this nation. And it has to do with how this nation was founded. This nation has to revolt against the, the king of England to be able to get their independence. Are you understand what I'm saying? What is the stronghold of your family? That stronghold of limitation. That stronghold that says that though God has said it, we too we have a, a mandate from generations past that they have entered into a covenant. And by that covenant, they come and limit and fight you legally. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have a legal right because your fathers, your father's fathers entered into agreement with them. And year in, year out, these spirits fight against you. So 2016, you have to be a smart, I mean, a warrior and tactician and know what you are dealing with and begin to engage that spirit and say, 2016, listen, you will not fight me. Amen. There are some of us that stronghold speak and fight against us specifically in regards to our finances. So when it comes to your finances, that stronghold is mandated and has power to restrict you and limit you. But you have authority, also a fresh mandate from God. You have power from God to tell that devil, enough is enough. And therefore, 2016, I'm here to wrestle you down. I'm here to pull you down. I'm here to tell you, enough is enough. You may fight everybody else, but me, you won't fight me. 2016, I'm exempted. Amen? Some people, it is sickness every time you get a job. You know, there's one of our daughters, she used to be in our church in New York, and she relocated to England. And we've been praying for her. And she got this job, and she's been working herself out. The day she got promotion on the job, she got involved in an accident the same day. Same day. So she missed, 
she missed a couple of days. And the boss, the same boss who hired her, the same boss that promoted her, fired her. It's not a normal accident. It's not a normal accident. It's a stronghold that says that you, you will never be free. Are you understand what I'm saying? So, that stronghold, why is it that the very day that she was promoted, what, that was the same day she got involved in an accident. Now she can't go to work. So the enemy says that as long as you are operating within the status quo, you are okay. But if you want to push to be a bit different, you want to push to be better, you want to push to attain a certain height that nobody in the family has attained before, then the stronghold of the family begins to speak. And guess what? 2016, we are determined that we want to reach a height that nobody in our family has reached before. We want to reach a height. Listen, there are strongholds in Lawrenceville. There are strongholds in the, in the city you live in. It could be Lidman, it could be Grayson, it could be Beaufort that speaks against people of color that speaks against people that they won't do well but tonight you must say every stronghold of limitation unleashed from the pit of hell to limit me in 2016 you must die by fire amen, amen. now listen carefully <laughs> see this thing we're talking about Jesus himself spoke about it go to Matthew chapter 12 Matthew 12 Jesus spoke about it. Say every stronghold of limitation. A sign from the pit of hell. To limit me. In 2016. I wrestle you down. By the name of Jesus. Say I'm mandated. Anointed by God. To overcome. You foul spirit. Of stronghold. From my family background, in this territory, that fight against people, you will not fight against me. And this kind of prayer, you don't pray sitting down. This kind of prayer, you don't pray chewing gum. Amen? I was picking some things up this morning, and the Lord told me that we must deal with some of these things. Or else, some people's story will be the same one as it was 2015, as it was 2014, as it was 2013, as it was 2012. So, he said, lift up the prayer temple in the church. Amen. Yeah, the prayer temperature must increase. Amen. The environment must be too hot for any stronghold and a strong man to survive. Amen? Amen? Say, I refuse to repeat negative history. Say, every negative thing that I experienced in 2015 will not follow me in 2016. Amen? Now, let's go to uh, chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12. I want us to read from... Um, I'm looking for from verse 22. Then one was brought to him. Then one was brought unto him, possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him. And in, in so much that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw. Go to the next verse. And all the people were amazed and said, is not this the son of David? Listen, number one, we are called to be a sign and, and, um, and a wonder to the people of our world. Amen. By now, people should be surprised by the happenings in your life. Amen. Please, one of my mission in life here is this, is that if we say we serve a living God, then our story must be different from everybody else. When they saw what Jesus did, that the Pharisees of his days couldn't do, 
when they saw that a man that was blind, deaf, and, 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 and couldn't hear, could hear and speak, they said, they were marveled. They were amazed and said, it's not this, the son of David. A miracle must happen to somebody. Amen. And this I'm believing God that every barren woman must conceive. Amen. Because there's no manufacturer without spare part department. Amen. I don't care whether the doctor said there's something wrong with your womb. God must give you a brand new womb. I don't care what, that de what the devil has done to your womb. Jesus can replace it and give you a brand new. The stronghold of that family must be broken and Jesus must give you a brand new womb. Amen. Unless you don't want a child. Amen. Unless you yourself tell God, I don't want it. But if you want it and you are in this house, you must conceive. Amen. No single lady must remain unmarried 2016. Listen to me. You must be fully married. Amen. Joyfully married. Amen. I say you must be fully married. Joyfully married. Excitedly married. Amen. And I'm not talking about a wayward man. I'm talking about I'm a proper Holy Ghost Spirit filled sound man that loves God. Amen. Amen. And this time I'm praying. I'm praying well. I don't want no, no crazy man to come and collect my ladies and take them away. If you are coming, you have to come and stay. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't be working, but we'll be chopping. No, no, no. They must come here and stay. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. So already prophesy, when you are accepting the, the proposal, you should be careful what you are accepting. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now, go on. The stronghold, listen. I want you to imagine and see that stronghold that has fought you. God said to me, there is a specific stronghold that Satan has unleashed concerning this year 2016 to be an impediment and stand in the path of the people of God. And he said, this is what you are here tonight to deal with. That every stronghold that has been released from the pit of hell to stand in your path financially, maritally, in your career, in your ministry, and everything that you do, that strong man must be defeated. Amen. That strong man must be what? Defeated. defeated. Right? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow do not cast out devils, but by Bezebub, the prince of the devil. Keep coming down. I want to go straight to what it says. Um, verse... What am I looking for? Verse. Okay. Come to 24. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself will not stand. Okay. Now, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judge. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Verse 29. Or how can one enter? That's my scripture I'm looking for. How can one enter into a strong man's house? Now, that strong man has the key to your brand new car. Let me paint a picture for you. Maybe some of you work at a warehouse. Or you go to Costco and you go and buy. I remember when Bransman. Uh, used to be there, you go and buy the thing and then you go to the warehouse and you show your tickets. And then they pick or they bring the item and then you load it into your car. I want you to picture that kind of thing. The warehouse and Satan is standing at the gate. And the things that are in the warehouse, none of them belongs to him. 
In the warehouse, I see your engagement ring. In the warehouse, I see the car key to your house. I mean, the, the key to your car and the key to your house. Every good thing you have been praying and desiring, it is in that place. And Satan has stolen them and keep them in the warehouse. And he's standing there and said, nobody can have access to it. And Jesus said that if you are looking for the key to your, your house, it's in the strong man's house. But you cannot enter until you first bind him. You must tie him up. You must enter there by force. That's why you have the entire armor of God. In Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 10 all the way to 18, he has given you the armor that you are supposed to put on to engage the devil in spiritual warfare. He said, how else can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil its goose, except he first bind the strong man. Remember what Jesus says in, in um, Matthew 18, verse 19, 18 and 19. He said, if, if whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, whatsoever you lose on earth, that means that heaven is waiting for you and me to do some binding here. Now, now. I was reading a commentary, and the commentary says that what the Greek word means there is that when you do the binding here, heaven says it's already bound in heaven. So heaven can't do anything until we do something. Listen, are you hearing me? Whatsoever you bind on earth, heaven says, I agree, let it be bound. And so when you sit down and you don't engage in spiritual warfare to deal with that strong man from your family, to deal with that strong man from your territory, that strong man that is telling you, listen, as a church, there's a strong man assigned against us. Amen. We must deal with it. Yeah. That strong man that tells people don't come to church. That strong man that when we go and give evangel do evangelism and give our flyers and we send out messages, he makes sure it falls on death here. We have to bind that strong, strong man and go and release the souls of men from his hands and tell them the God to come. Some of you, you should have been married three years ago. But the strong man said no. Some of you should have been, I mean, out of death four years ago. But a strong man said, no. Tonight, I'm painting a picture to you that there is a warehouse. Your house is in that place. The babies you are looking for, they are all there. Satan stole them. They are there. You are not supposed to give birth to your children in the spirit. They ought to be birthed in the physical. You are supposed to be a nursing mother breastfeeding your children and being a joyful mother I heard heaven said there shall be none barren among them if the word of God is true then give me my baby give me my baby strong man give me my baby tonight I take my baby God says it I have the legal right I have the backing of heaven that I ought to be conceiving and giving birth to my physical babies. Therefore, no more barrenness, no more miscarriage, no more barrenness, no more miscarriage. Yeah. Amen? The last fasting we had here, not this past 21, the last one we did in the summer, I called one of our sisters and I told her, I said, this fasting is for you. She's been married for so long. No more of years. Never be pregnant. It's not like getting pregnant and even having miscarriage. Never be pregnant. But recently she came to church. And she came and told me, Pastor, it's been confirmed. I'm pregnant. Amen. Yeah. Right here. I called her. I called her and I told her, they said this fasting. It was last summer's fasting. The 30 days. I told her, God told me, I have to tell you, this fasting is about you. I said, don't miss one day. She was here every day. And she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Amen? Yeah. There's another one too. That the husband spams. When he enters into it, the seed was, I mean, their body was eating the sperm. 
kind of devil is that? But when God visited her, the story changed. The baby can't wait to come out. Right? Are you here? Listen, you are dealing with a strong man. <laughs> Second Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. You think because you have worn your makeup and you look nice and you are wearing your spectacle like a Wendy, Satan, Satan is impressed. Satan doesn't care. Look at someone and tell the person, Satan doesn't care. No, he doesn't care. Doesn't care. You know what Jesus said? He said, the thief coming up but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He comes to steal. What is legally yours? Satan comes to steal it. God said, 2016, you are supposed to make $200,000. And Satan comes to steal it. And you are struggling with money. And you are wondering, God, why me? Why me? God said, no, it's not why me. It is fight for me. Fight and get what is yours. I've already, and that is why you must be a student of the word and know what God has already said. I was talking to one of my friends. This guy does, deals with financial, this thing. he's a stock trader and all of that. And he was complaining. I said, bro, no, 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 stop complaining. You have a different breed. Your prosperity and your blessing is not dependent on what is happening on the stock, stock market. I said, all you need is one co divine connection. Amen. And then I said, please understand, the Bible said, the wealth of the wicked is laid out for the righteous. I said, aren't you a righteous? And I said, for if by anything you think that based on whatever you do, you are not righteous enough. The Bible said, Christ has made us the righteousness of God. And so I am not standing here claiming righteousness based on my works, but I'm claiming righteousness based on the accomplished work of Christ. And that qualifies me to receive the wealth of the wicked. I said, all you need is one supernatural contact. And that is easy for God because when God was ready to change the story of David, all he has to do was to make an evil spirit come from heaven and torment Saul. And the only remedy to save Saul was to get a musician. See, when your season comes, it doesn't matter where you are. That is why I believe with all my heart, the one for you will locate you. I say, your husband, I don't care whether he's in California, I don't care whether he's in Zogorobubu, I don't care whether he's in Africa, wherever your husband is, when you pray tonight and the strong man is defeated, your husband will locate you, your wife will locate you, that blessing you are looking for will locate you. Somebody shout, the strong man must die. The strong man must move out of the way in order, you see, when the strong man dies, you will not struggle for your miracle to happen. Amen? Amen. Amen. Listen, delayance is not from God. It's from the devil. Satan can delay you. Huh? Every year that you don't marry, Satan is stealing your blissful marriage. God expects you to enjoy maybe 50 years of blissful marriage. And Satan is stealing your years away by delaying it. Amen? Listen, I'm reading a book that Pastor Marvin, Marvin gave me about why size matters. And then you see the importance of even money. How money can make a ministry to thrive. So you will see why Satan will fight. Listen, I, I, I wrote in one of my books, anybody that tells you marriage, money is not good, the person is a witch. It's a witch. Anybody that tells you money is not good, the person is a witch. Yeah, it's a witch. It's a witch. You must arrest that person and put the person in an anointing oil and boil the person up like they did to John and go and throw the person in the island of Patmos. Yeah, that's what you have to do to them. Because money is good. The Bible says money answers all things. That's why Satan is fighting your finances. 
And, and tonight, every stronghold stealing your money mysteriously, every stronghold hindering your money, there are sometimes people want to give you money and last minute they change their mind. Why? Someone say, why? why? Because the stronghold of your family says that when you are at the stage you are now, you shouldn't see money. Amen? Amen. Many people go through promise and fail. Promise and fail. People will promise them. They hear good news. They only celebrate the good news, but they never enjoy. So, it's okay. They can get engaged. And then they announce the news. But it never ends up in marriage. Why? Because the stronghold of the family said, not so. That's what tonight you must fight. You must what? You, the way you are sitting now, you are not ready to fight. Is it my time? When everybody comes here, you will see that this guy is ready to fight. Yannick, you want to, you want to fight me? You want to fight? Uh-huh. He said no. Yeah. Because just one, just one. I give you one. Have you wait. And then you are knocked out. You will pass out. You must make the devil pass out tonight. Somebody shout amen. Are you still here? What is that stronghold or that strong man of your family keeping away from you? That tells you this is how far you can go. That ultimate goal that you have that nobody in the family has achieved before, you won't get there. Okay, the law is that you shouldn't get married. Now you are married. We'll see if you get you give birth. Okay, the law is that if you get married, then you have to suffer financial loss. Okay, as long as you don't marry, you okay, have all the money you want. I trust that you were blessed by today's word. If you listen to today's word and you are not saved, I would like you to pray this simple prayer with me. I would like you to invite Jesus to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Please save me, forgive me all my sin, and I pledge my life to live for you the rest of my days. Amen. If you pray that prayer sincerely, I want you to call me or write to me, and I know that your life is never the same Love you, and I'm praying for you. Be blessed. If you would like to see this message in its entirety, please visit our website at www.gracefamilyint.com. If you're in the metro Atlanta area and would like to come and worship with us, please feel free to join us on Sundays at 10 a.m. and Fridays at 7 p.m. We are located at 742 Weiner Industrial Way, Sweet G, Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30046. Or just give us a call 